the writing itself uh, is that which inspires me. I, I don't uh, get inspired by this or that outsider writing. When I'm writing, I, I concentrate uh, completely, more or less, on what I'm working on. One page takes the next in a flow. If I get into that kind of flow, it writes itself, more or less. It really is a very hard book to summarize because it's all done in the language of the writing. It's his longest work, and uh, I think the longer the better for him uh, because his writing always builds in these sort of waves of moving back and forth and kind of touching on different things and connecting them to other things. Only builds over the course of whatever his writing is, whether it's a story or a novella or a novel, or in this case, a triple septuple novel. Asler shows him one painting after another. He has nine finished paintings in the room, and then he has quite a few more in a storeroom down in the cellar, he says. And Bayer says that there is not the slightest doubt in his soul. Yes, Asler simply must have his debut exhibition, and it has to be in the spring. And then Bayer says he can use the fact that Asler has had pictures accepted in both the West Norway Art Exhibition and the Autumn Exhibition, but if he had room in his schedule, yes, he would show us his pictures right away because talent shines from these pictures. He can see it. And he can always see right away if an artist has talent. And it all depends on talent. It's a gift. Yes, a gift of grace, the Catholics would probably say. And he has to admit that if there's anything that could make him believe, believe in something big, something bigger than life. Yes, it's when he sees talent in a picture. And in Usler's pictures, there is such obvious talent that he's never seen anything like it. He says, yes, Usler's talent is so self-evident that he will definitely encounter a lot of resistance because it's like great talent awakens opposition. Yes, it, it scares people and irritates them and it gets bad reviews. But for whatever reason, it's different with people who buy pictures. They buy what they like and what they think is worth the money. And what they buy, with few exceptions, are pictures that show talent, Bayer says. Anyway, that's how it is in his gallery, he says. And Bayer asks if he can also see the paintings that are down in the cellar storeroom right now. And so Asler and Bayer, both wearing a black suit and tie, go down the steep old steps to the cellar, and in the light that there is down there, Asla shows Bayer the paintings he's keeping there. And Bayer says that Asla already has enough pictures for two shows. So there'll be two. But there has to be a year between them. And now that he's seen these paintings too, he's changed his opinion somewhat. He wants Asla to exhibit them in the weeks before Christmas. He should be able to squeeze in an exhibition during Advent, Bayer says, because that's when pictures sell the best, he says. And he says that he feels strongly that Asla's pictures will sell well. And Asla doesn't know what to say and doesn't say anything.